Hello, and thank you for joining me on Delicious by Debbie. I am in the process of making uh, ham pot pot pies. So I've got a fourth of a cup, half of a stick of butter in here. It's melted, and into that I'm going to put a fourth of a cup of flour. And mix that around. I'm going to put a third of a cup of chopped onion. This happens to be a red onion. Okay, now I have a cup of chicken broth. I'm going to put that in. If I had heavy whipping cream, I would use it, but I don't. So I'm going to use a half of a cup of half and half. If this is still too thick, I'll just use some more broth. I'm going to put a teaspoon, half of a teaspoon of garlic powder in. Half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. You could use minced garlic. You could use fresh garlic. I want to get my oven on, set it for 350. And I want half of a teaspoon of thyme. Get that mixed in. It smells good. And I want a half of a teaspoon of pepper. And I want to taste this before I put any salt in it because my chicken broth was not low sodium. I think I'll put about a half of a teaspoon. Okay, I have two cups of mixed vegetables. I'm gonna put that in. And I have two cups of cut up ham. Probably gonna need to add some more of this chicken broth. Give this a good stir and it's ready to go in the crust. I made just a standard pastry crust for a two crust pie. Okay, I already have pie crust in the bottom of this dish. This is a deep dish. It is not a regular pie dish. This is more of a casserole dish. I'm gonna cup of cheddar cheese and I'm going to put cheese on top of this. Then I'll roll out my top crust to go on top of that and I already have the dough ready. Just regular pie crust dough. Sometimes I make a, a pie crust dough and put some chunks of butter in it. I didn't do that today. This is just regular pie crust. We really like this. So I'm going to roll this out and put it over top of that. Put this over the top. And I'll seal the edges. Okay, I'm going to crimp the edges. Right, there it is, all ready for the oven. I'm going to cut a couple of slits in the top. The ham pot pie is done. I brushed some melted butter on it when it was finished, and I'm letting it cool a little bit before we dig into it. 